Ishaya, Isaiah chapter 34. Come near you nations to hear, and listen you people. Let the earth hear, and all that is in it, the world and all its offspring. For the displeasure of Yah is against all the nations, and his wrath against all their divisions. He shall put them under the ban, he shall give them over to the slaughter, and their slain be thrown out, and their stench rise from their corpses, and mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of the heavens shall rot away, and the heavens shall be rolled up like a scroll, and all their hosts fade like a leaf fading on the vine, and like the fading one of a fig tree. For my sword shall be drenched in the heavens. Look, it comes down on Edom, and on the people of my curse for judgment. The sword of Yah shall be filled with blood. It shall be made overflowing with fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yah has a slaughtering in Batshra, and a great slaughtering in the land of Edom. And wild oxen shall come down with them, and young bulls with bulls. And their land shall be drenched with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the vengeance of Yah, the year of recompense for the cause of Sion. And its stream shall be turned into tar, and its dust into sulfur, and its land shall become burning tar, that is not quenched night or day, its smoke going up forever, from generation to generation, it lies waste, no one passes through it forever and ever, so that the pelican and the porcupine possess it, also the owl and the raven dwell in it, and he shall st stretch out over the over it, the line of formlessness and stones of emptiness, its caves with no one in them, is called a rain, and all its rulers have vanished, and thorns shall come up in its palaces, nettles and brambles in its strongholds, and it shall be a home for jackals, a courtyard for ostriches. And the wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the jackals, and the shaggy goat call to its companion. The night creature shall also settle there, and shall find for herself a place of rest. The arrow snake shall nest there, and lay eggs and hatch, and gather them under her shadow. There too the vulture shall gather, each with its mate. Search from the book of Yah and read, Not one of these shall be missing. Not one shall be without a mate, for he has commanded my mouth, and his spirit shall gather them. And he shall cast a lot for them, and his hand shall divide it among them with a measuring line. They possess it forever, from generation to generation they dwell in it.